So um, we're going to start the weave. You see I've got three guys on one side and three on the other. Just the first set of stakes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that weaver underneath that handle and the rim where it's lashed. And then this is just over and under. And once again, you have to excuse the weave in here because I am a lap weaver. And that is not real wet if it's busting already. So I'm going to pull that out. Again, for getting in a rush. And uh, we'll try it again. Okay, so I'm going to put that underneath. It does need to be pretty flexible starting out here. And I just dip that, which is not probably the best scenario, but here we go. So this is just over and under. And you want to get it in there tight. Now, even though these guys are big, the rim and the handle, they're still considered a rib and are woven the same way. Okay, so that's over. And this is going to be under. And I'm weaving with 3 16 flat on this. So, underneath it, and you see I am being a little precarious here, and that rim still is considered another rib, and then we're going to go around that uh, number eight on top of the rim, and what that does is it enables us to have a straight warp on that rim in case we want to do some twill, make it a little bit more fancier. So, you know you're on when you are opposite the weave from the last row. In rib constructed baskets, you always weave from rim to rim. If you can't get this tight, and this is where the weave right tool comes in, and you can pull it down in between there. It takes about three rows before things really start coming together here on this. So, and when I say three rows, I mean one, two, three. So um, I'm going to put six rows on this to get these guys anchored, and then I'll go over and do the other side, and then it'll be time to add more ribs. So once again, even though it's big, it's still considered just a rib, and we're going to come around, and this is like your rim extension, this blue here, and pull that tight. Okay. And remember, I can feel this and see I've screwed up. Um, the back needs to be tight as well. It needs to be firm right up against there. So I'm going to tighten this back up. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, six rows, which will look like three wraps on each side on this side. And then I'll go over and do that same thing on the other side. And then it'll be time to add more ribs again. Our favorite thing to do. And actually on this basket, we'll add um, three different sets of ribs. So that's how she starts out looking. And it gets better from there.